Convenience store managers have a lot of tasks to perform in a normal operating day. Your passport system is here to help you get some of these tasks done efficiently so that you can more effectively manage your store and focus on pleasing your customers. Let's focus on some daily tasks that managers perform and we will show you how Passport can help you. Employee Management Adding and Removing Employees Managers constantly deal with employee turnover. It is the nature of convenience store business. The addition of a new employee is important and something that must be done quickly and correctly. Key areas to remember. First, to set up a new employee, you need to go to the Setup Employee application where you will see a list of the employees that are currently in the store. You must hit the Add button to create a new employee. When you are adding a new employee, you must first enter the name, first and last name, and an operator ID. You also need to enter the employee's birth date. Another area that is important in the creation of a new employee is the security level. This is where you define the role for the employee such as manager, supervisor, or cashier. Another area is in the preferences you should select overriding the blind balancing store option and that the employee is allowed to see totals when balancing. Other areas here are setting up their calculator or telephone keypad preference or if they're left or right handed. Make sure to verify all this information when you're setting up your employees. If an employee is terminated or leaves the company, the manager will uncheck the active employee box under the general information tab. Please note, you can't delete any employees from the Passport system. For reporting purposes, they remain in the system for some amount of time. If you are using blind balancing in your store, one thing to remember is that you need to set up the variances for your employees. This is done in the Setup Store application and looking under the Accounting Options function. Under this, you look under Tender Options and you will see all the tenders accepted at the store. We recommend you put an amount that is large enough to allow your cashiers to have some variance in their tills so that their till report will print when they close. The cash value can go up to $999. Promoting employees. Sometimes employees are given new responsibilities. When an employee temporarily or permanently takes on more responsibility, the manager will bump up their security level in the employee management application. They can go from a cashier to supervisor, but these employees can never exceed the level of security for the person who is authorizing them. When an employee forgets his password or locks his account, the manager will need to reset their password. This is done by selecting the generic password box in the employee management for that particular employee. The employee will then be required to create a new password when they sign on the system the next time. The employee will use the generic password for the store. Changing customer display messages. If you wish to change or alter your customer display message to promote a particular item, report winning lottery numbers, or provide information to customers, simply go to the Setup Register menu on the Manager Workstation. Select Register Group Maintenance and then choose the specific register group that you wish to alter the customer display message. Go to the Customer Display tab and then type the message that you wish to display on the customer display. Please note the customer display messages can be set up to display with or without scrolling. If scrolling is selected, the date and time will automatically display above the message as well. Make sure you select Save once you've entered your message for the day. If you would wish to change or alter your customer's receipts to promote a particular item, report winning lottery numbers, or provide information to customers, simply go to the Setup Register menu on the Manager Workstation. Select Register Group Maintenance and then choose the specific register group that you wish to alter the customer's receipts. Select the Register tab and choose either the header or footer to modify. 
The header should or could default to the store's address, and the footer could be used for many types of customer promotional information. Simply type the receipt message on the line above the display area and press the enter key on the keyboard to see if the display of the sample receipt looks good to you. Multiple lines can be displayed and alignment of the message can be configured as well. Be as creative as you want to be. Please your customers, give them information, allow the receipts to work for you. Creating a promotional message, receipt, or promotional message on the CREN. The CREN Receipt and General tab, located under the Site Options application, allows managers to set messages for all receipts printed at the CREN. These messages can be the same as inside sales or receipts printed at the CREN, or they can be unique to outside customers. Manager would simply enter the text via the keyboard for either the receipts with the header or footer with promotional information on that, or a promotional message that displays during the fueling process. That is located under the CREND General tab on the Site Options application. This promotional message that displays at the CREND only shows during fueling and is also a mechanism to promote inside sales or specific information that you want the customer to know. Finally, there is a CREND Coupon tab that allows the manager to create a unique coupon that would be printed at the end of the receipt in a unique fashion to capture the customer's attention. Item Maintenance If you have a back office, all new items should be entered through this application and then passed along to Passport via the back office interface. However, if you do not have a back office price book system, you can easily add new items to the pricing menu on the manager workstation. In this application, you will select the item application and then select the add button for a new item. Enter the important information about the item such as POU or UPC number, the description, the price, the base department, and other key attributes. The second tab over, called the Scan tab, you would need to enter the correct scan code for this item to guarantee that it scans correctly. If unsure of the scan code, scan the item prior to entering it into the system and request a not on file slip. Once you have all the correct information, make sure to press the Save button. If you wish to add this item to an existing speed key menu, go to the speed key maintenance application under the setup register menu. Make sure to test the item to guarantee that the item's description and taxes are configured correctly for the item prior to selling officially at the store. For more information, refer to your online help button and look for item maintenance. Creating and maintaining pricing groups. For items that tend to increase price at the same time, we have pricing groups in Passport. To configure and maintain price groups, this is performed in the Pricing menu under Pricing Groups. In this application, you can create your own custom price groups and then assign departments or items to these similar price groups. Once you've created a price group, you are then able to increase or decrease prices for these items and then select the Save button. Discounts are created under the Setup Store Discount Maintenance application. Under this application, as you see here, you can create a multitude of discounts. Here are a few. First is the monthly special. This is actually a variable item discount where you can have the maximum amount off as $2. We have a weekly promo which is a standard item discount with the most as being a percent off of up to 25 percent. Please note you also can select days of the week that these discounts could be applicable to. Finally you see here a contractor special where a discount can be actually a free item. This also could be done for police or, or special service people that may visit your store. Please note that you can create as many discounts as you want they can be applicable on certain days or times of the day, and they can help you serve your customers more effectively. Now we want to show you an example of what these discounts look like in the Passport Cashier Workstation. Notice here, once I've actually rung up a burger, I can select an item discount, and the list of item discounts that we had seen previously are available. I'm selecting the monthly special, 
and I'm putting in an exact price for the discount. Please note that discounts take immediate effect when the manager programs them. Fuel management. Making quick price changes is a necessity for a busy store manager. Passport gives you choices and makes the process very simple. In the manager workstation, the manager will need to go to the pricing menu and then select fuel price change. In the fuel price change area, select the grade you want to alter price. To select more than one grade at a time, simply hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click each grade to highlight it. Once you've selected the grade, you can enter a new price or increase or decrease an existing price by pressing the appropriate button. Once you've changed the appropriate prices, you can decide whether to send the price changes immediately at the end of the day, store close, or at a certain time of day activated by someone on the cashier workstation. If you have a fuel price sign, it can be integrated into Passport so that all the fuel price changes can automatically be pushed to the price sign at the appropriate time. Talk to your Gilbarco distributor if you're interested. One manager task that is done every day is getting your tank monitor readings. Passport makes it easy for you by allowing you to get the tank monitor readings directly from the Passport point of sale system. To get your tank monitor readings on demand, go to the cashier workstation application and select the dispenser menu. Under this menu, you can see the tank monitor button. Press this button and you will immediately gather tank monitor data from your VitaRoot system. Select the print key it will automatically be printed for you. Fuel discounting maintenance. Passport allows a manager multiple ways to discount fuel to either incent their customers to use cash, buy their car wash, or to use a particular credit card that provides the owner a lower transaction rate. This functionality can be utilized in the fuel discounting maintenance application located under the fuel menu. Once you go into fuel discount maintenance, there are several options for you. The first is to create a manual fuel discount. Select the first tab and select the Add button. Enter the name of the fuel discount and the amount of the discount for each configured grade in the system. You can have multiple manual fuel discounts that will be available for use by your cashiers when they select the Discount button on the Function menu and then select an item discount that will apply to a pending inside fuel transaction. To create a fuel discount based upon card type, select the card type table and then press the Add button. Create a name for your discount and then select the appropriate card type that will drive a fuel discount. All supported credit network cards along with local accounts and auxiliary network cards are included in this card list. Once you select the appropriate card type and then enter the appropriate fuel discount that would apply when the customer used a particular card, you're ready to go. Once you have completed the setup, press the Save button. Remember, press the Save button. You can create multiple card-based discounts that will apply to either inside or outside transactions. To create a car wash-based discount, select the Car Wash tab and then press the Add button. Create a name for your car wash discount, then select the wash package that will drive the fuel discount. You can create several fuel discounts that relate to a different wash package. Once you select your wash package, select the fuel discount for the appropriate fuel grades. For example, I could provide a special fuel discount for premium gas if they buy a deluxe car wash package. Finally, to create a fuel discount based upon the use of cash, please select the Cash Based Discount tab. Enter the cash discount name that you desire and then select the discounts that would apply for each particular grade. Please note there is only one cash tender, so there's only one option with this type of discount. Also note that this will apply to any cash sale that includes fuel both inside and outside through the use of a cash acceptor. All fuel discounts will generate messaging to the customer and forecourt on the receipt telling them how much they've saved during the transaction. Also, a fuel discounting report is available for the manager to review the success of each fuel discounting option that was being utilized at the store. You remember, you have multiple discounts that can apply in one transaction. A person can qualify for a fuel discount based upon the purchase of a car wash and the use of a particular credit card. Back office interface. One manager's task is dealing with the back office interface that drives your accounting package and scanning for your store.
One task that you may deal with is receiving a new price book file for your passport location. What I want to show you now is the ability to actually process that price book file quickly. By selecting the back office interface application under setup store back office, you are able to actually ratchet up the processing speed for a back office file. This is actually located in the middle of the document generation tab and you notice it, the, the by default the processing is 1 300 and I have changed it here to 10 100. This will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes to process a file that under normal conditions would have taken up to 45 minutes. But please remember once you've changed this setting you need to change it back. Posting sales to your back office system. As you deal with your back office system, sometimes you may be asked to re-poll or repost sales from your passport. This is done by going into the Setup Store Back Office application and hitting the XML Repoll Files button. When this application comes to the screen, you are able to then select the business day that may have been previously posted to the back office. You can select the day that needs to be polled and then select the OK button. At this point, all back office files will be repolled and resent to the appropriate areas for your back office to reconsume. Confirming new pricing and promotions on your system. If the home office has created new promotions or new items that have been sent to your site, the manager may need to confirm all as well with the price book. What can they do? First, for new items, they can perform a price check via the cashier workstation to confirm a specific item's price. Second, to look at several items at a glance, they can print their POU listings report that is available under the back office reports menu. If your store supports promotions such as combos and mix and match, scheduled price changes, happy hour pricing, via your back office application, there is a report for you there as well. Under the Reports menu, please select the Scheduled Events Reports. Under this report, you will be looking for the Promotional Reports. After you bring up this report, you are able to view the different combos and promotions that may have been downloaded to your store and their effectivity dates. This really comes in handy at the end of the month when you never know what the next promotion may be. Good employees that sometimes make bad decisions. How does a manager go through their daily tasks to investigate and potentially report a thief working at their store? Well, we're going to step you through this process. We need to review our till reports, our cashier statistics, and our electronic journal. Theft is a serious problem, and managers need to have all the facts before they can confront any employee. And Passport, the manager should start with the reports. First, the manager can use the cashier till report to review over under and any other key indicators may help determine if the cashier is doing anything unusual. The manager could also compare all the cashiers in the cashier statistics report to see if any cashiers stand out in any area of concern. If the manager begins to suspect a particular cashier, he can then investigate the employee through the use of the Passport Electronic Journal that allows the manager to review each and every keystroke and button press the cashier could have performed over a particular period of time. The manager could also review the security video surveillance that integrates the passport transactions to pinpoint the exact incident with the information found in the electronic journal. Hopefully, knowledge of these tools by both managers and employees will help alleviate the risk for theft. Other daily tasks. There are several steps needed for a local account to be set up in passport. First, you need to configure a local account tender on your passport system, as you see here. This is performed by going to the Setup Store menu and selecting the Tender Maintenance application. You select the Add button and create a new tender called Local Account with a tender type of Local Account. Once you have entered all the required fields, you can then go to the Local Account Maintenance application located under the Setup Store menu. In this application, you can create a new local account set the limits for this account, and then create the sub-accounts that will be reported against this master account. 
Once you've configured the settings for this account, the system will then allow the cashier to select the local account tender as a valid tender for any store transaction. Please note that the receipts for these transactions will conclude the current balance for these types of transactions. For further reference on this topic, including the reporting of local accounts, please refer to your online help on the Passport Manager Workstation application. Look for local accounts. Disabling and enabling car wash sales. For situations when the car wash needs to be offline due to maintenance or repair, the manager has the ability to disable the car wash functionality for a period of time. This feature can be deactivated in two locations. First, under the Tools menu on the Cashier Workstation, there is a Disable and Enable Car Wash button. This is available to most cashiers. The second option is under the Manager Workstation for Setup Car Wash Maintenance. In this application, the manager is able to actually disable the car wash via the Manager Workstation Car Wash Maintenance application for a period of time. We'd recommend you doing this method if the car wash is going to be down for a period of time and you don't want it to be enabled by accident by the cashier. Setting up daily reminders. A new feature for Passport in our version 8 software is the ability to create custom reminders that can be displayed for either cashiers or managers. To create these reminders, simply go to the Setup Store Reminder Maintenance, as you see here. Manager is able to add or change an existing reminder. For instance, we're showing mopping the floor. This reminder is shown only on the port of sale, which means it's only going to be shown for the cashier. You also can set up the time for when the reminder will be posted, daily, weekly, or monthly. You can even have a start date and the time that it should be shown. Some reminders can actually be set up for the manager. This could be something such as backing up your electronic journal data to your CD or printing a particular report on a certain day. Remember, these reminders are used to help your cashier perform functions at certain times of the day and to remind the manager himself or herself about certain things that are important to the company. Backing up journal data. Backing up critical store information such as electronic journal and network journal data is another daily or weekly task for a manager. Instead of storing roll paper in a closet for years, you now have the ability to back up this important data to a CD read write media. This function is performed by going to the Reports Backup Journals application. It's located on the lower part of the Reports menu. The system will allow the manager to choose between a full backup of the information or an incremental backup since the last time this operation had been performed. In Passport version 8, the manager also has the ability to back up store close reports as well. However, this does not include network sensitive material such as account numbers. Remember, backing up your journal is something the manager may even set up as a daily or weekly task to be reminded. It's important for your store and for your management to keep this information secure and constant. Extraction tool. What if you had a lot of stores? You don't want to make the same change multiple times. To help you, Passport has a great tool for importing and exporting changes to your Passport system. This tool is called the Extraction Tool and is located under the Setup Store Extraction Tool application. In order to extract or save settings to be used by another site, simply press the Export button and then select the system settings that you wish to export. You can select all or choose specific areas that you wish to. Once you've selected all your settings, select the next button and then you will be prompted the data and what to name it. You can save it locally or on external memory device such as a floppy disk or a memory stick. Once you've named your file, select the start button and you'll see the file save process give you the updates until all are saved. If any issues occur, it will be noted in this area. Once completed, you can take your files to another passport running the same version of software and simply import the settings to the new system. To perform this process, select the Import button and then select the next key. Find the import file from the correct storage device and then select Start. Any compatibility issues will be reported during the import process. 
This is a great tool for making small changes like speed key menus or unique discounts that may be used at all stores. Remember, if you have more questions on this, talk to your senior management or look at it on your Passport Online Help on the manager's workstation.